Welcome to Taking the Floor, the podcast from Hinge Health about pelvic health, movement, and taking charge of your well-being. I'm Candice Doraski, a pelvic health physical therapist at Hinge Health, and I'm here with a mini episode to help you understand how stress can have an impact on your pelvic symptoms. Our mini episodes are meant to give you a quick lesson or practical tip about some common questions people ask us about their pelvic health. Okay, let's get right into it. Our members are often surprised when we start talking about lifestyle factors like stress management when we're discussing their pelvic floor symptoms. They often think pelvic floor dysfunction is purely physical. But I'm here to tell you your state of mind and emotions, especially if you're feeling stressed or anxious, can have a huge impact on your pelvic floor. And this is especially true for symptoms like pelvic pain and urge incontinence, but can also affect any kind of pelvic floor dysfunction. So why does this happen? There's actually something called the pelvic stress reflex response. This means that the pelvic floor muscles automatically contract when we feel physical or mental stress. Have you ever found yourself holding your breath or clenching your jaw when you're scared or worried? There's a similar response going on in the pelvic area. It just may not feel as obvious. Because of this stress response, the pelvic floor can get extra tight when you're feeling stressed, which can worsen pelvic pain, cause spasms, and increase urinary urgency and frequency. Be sure to check out our podcast episode about urgency if you'd like to learn more. On top of that, stress can get our nervous system stuck in high gear, which can make us more sensitive to all kinds of pain, including pelvic pain. And there's also a stress hormone you may have heard of called cortisol. This can also have an effect. Our bodies release high levels of cortisol when we're stressed, and over time, this can contribute to symptoms like pelvic pain. And while the typical stress most of us experience from day-to-day living is certainly more than enough to have an impact, longer-term and more serious stressors like trauma can have a big effect on your pelvic floor as well. Regardless of the source of your stress, it's clear that managing it and learning to find more balance and resilience are really critical for your overall health. But it's not just your pelvic floor. Chronic stress can increase your risk of a variety of diseases, and it can lead you to reach for some not-so-healthy habits to cope with it, like drinking or smoking, or even just staying up too late, endlessly and mindlessly scrolling Instagram. Now listen. I know that hearing that stress is bad can often just make you feel more stressed. That's not our intention here at all. In fact, we have some solutions for stress as a part of your program, and we want to make sure that you're aware of them now that you know this connection exists so that you can tap into these tools when stress might be contributing to a symptom flare. Some members even tell us that they use their symptoms as a clue, sort of like a magic eight ball, of what's going on with their stress levels. When they have a flare in their symptoms, they know it's a good time to start focusing on their pelvic floor and stress strategies again. So you may hear from your health coach about stress management techniques, like improving your sleep hygiene and trying our guided breathing meditations. We also know that movement is a great way to combat stress, which is just another benefit to working through your exercises in the app, as well as exercising on your own, whether that's running, walking, hiking, doing yoga, or whatever type of movement you're into. What's great is that we found that our members who stick with their program actually report less anxiety over time. This makes sense if you think about it. Symptoms like pelvic pain, stress incontinence, fecal issues, and urinary urgency are all really stressful themselves. But the great news is they can improve. And that's the start of a really positive cycle of reducing stress and living with a happier and more functional pelvic floor. Thank you so much for listening. I know that managing stress can sound easier said than done, but just like dealing with your pelvic floor issues, you don't have to do it alone, and we're here for you. The information contained in this podcast is intended to be used for educational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice or treatment for any specific condition. Please consult with your healthcare provider with any questions you may have about your medical condition or treatment. Check out your Hinge Health app library for new episodes coming soon.